little while ago, Samuel Chipma of YouTube posted a challenge. It's called the Aimbot Challenge. You place five pieces of paper on your target. If you hit each one in succession, you have accomplished the challenge. And I'm gonna try that today. I'm not good at accuracy. I've been avoiding these accuracy challenges like the plague. So please don't be offended if I'm horrible. <laughs> I'm motivated to work on my accuracy and I'll let you know why at the end of the video. So uh, first off, let me show you my board. Here it is. Issue of the challenge is Tom Tom, also known as Sama Chipmon YouTube. Then we got the second guy that revived the challenge. That's Adam Saladin. Then we have Scott Thomas. This is his picture for the, his Facebook profile. Night of the Living Zed, which is Simon Rivera. And lastly, today, Abel Matalik. Sorry if I'm murdering the French language. Posted his response to the challenge. This is my target. I'm excited because I like hitting stuff. So the knives I'm working with today, just so you know, is Crescent Work Slim Jims, Flying Steels East Wind, and lastly, oh, I got the right one, Hal Zuccotti's DS.10s or DS.X. So let's get started. figured out some things when I did this challenge. Number one, it was really fun at first. <laughs> Number two, then I started sucking and that got me mad. Number three, I started picturing uh, Scott Thomas because he's so calm and collected. And I started doing that. I was focusing. I was like, dude, I got this. And then, and then I started sucking again. discovering is that I'm getting sick of this. <laughs> my arm is tired, my arm, hand is crimping up, I hate standing still, and I don't have the patience. <laughs> I don't have the patience. I don't have the patience to practice like this. I started hating Al Capone's face. It looked like he was laughing at me every time I missed him. Yeah, I really, really did not like this. Uh, I really need to work on accuracy. I think this is the best, best I could do. There was some good rounds. But I couldn't get five in a row. Sorry. Failure again. I promised Andy Fisher that I would do his burpee challenge. We talked about it. I said I'd do it. I'm gonna do it. Unfortunately, he made one of the requirements a 15 centimeter square. And if you miss that 15 centimeter square, you got a 30 burpee penalty. And potentially, if you miss all knives in that 15 centimeter square, you could end up doing 120 burpees. And I don't wanna do that. I wanna do 30 burpees. <laughs> Instead of being like most of us where we kind of just 
dip our toes in the water, we feel out knife throwing. He went all in. He took a cliff dive off <laughs> into knife throwing. He has a thousand day challenge in which he wants to be one of the best competitive knife throwers out there. Now at first you might be thinking, Oh, this guy is just gonna come in and say he's gonna be the best out there. He gave himself a thousand days, one thousand days. That's like three years. So he's already made a three year commitment to knife throwing. I think that's just amazing. He set up a website showing all of his experience and he's also set up a podcast. And the podcast is means to interview other knife throwers so we can get to know all those knife throwers you heard of, like Mike Gross and TJ Cuenca and the Throw Dini and other people. <laughs> and me, I, he interviewed me. So make sure to stay tuned. My interview is getting posted like Friday and I actually made a video for him. I did it out of the goodness of my heart to get other people to actually, if they're visual like I am, to see a video representation of that podcast. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Take a target and you map out a 15 centimeter square. So 15 centimeters in each direction. We call precision. Your grouping is one place, but what you're aiming for is here. Yeah.